What up, man? It's your boy DJ Scorpio, Mastermind Music, aka the Promotions Predator. We live in the building, my man L T Mo. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna set him up the right way, man. This is one of the best producers in the game. You know how you go places, you hear it's the best producer in Memphis, the best producer in Atlanta. This guy right here is the best producer in the game, period. And just so I make myself very clear, uh, it's DJ Scorpio. I personally co-sign my man L T Mo, man. What's up, homie? I said the word. That. I second that. I second that. Before we, we begin, second. I second that. My man, four eyes. It's been uh, presented and properly seconded. Uh, all in favor, say aye. Aye. Four, four eyes. Right, right, right. Any <laughs> opposed? No. He's the best. <laughs> That's how we do it, man. What's up, homie? Man, trying to get it, man. Trying to, trying to adapt. Trying to adjust and adapt. You know what I'm saying? The game has taken a turn. It's taken a sharp turn. Right. In a lot of cases, for the worse. Not in all cases, but the majority of the cases, yeah, it's taking a turn for the worse. And, you know, for the most part, we ain't eating like we could be, like we should be. So so where's your niche at? Like, where, what, what, what part of the game are you good at as far as the production work, as far as what you do? I mean, my thing is making the music. My thing is vibing and creation. That's my thing. Uh, networking and politicking really ain't my thing especially when it comes down to the you know to the whole industry standard of the the small talking let's do lunch talk like i'm not good at that that's not a good trade of mine at all like i suck at that so you know because of that you know it hinders me from being successful as successful as i could be because that's you know that's a tool used to maneuver in this line of work especially amongst us negroes <laughs> well, i have a question for you why a, why am I personally co signing? I'm sorry, why are me and Four <coughs> Eyes in here personally co signing you? And why should I even know who you are? Like, why should I know you? I, I make dope music, you know? I mean, if, you know, if music is what you're into, you know, if you're into creating music, I'm a good guy to know because I'm a, I'm a creative person. I'm good at creating music, so, you know. What have you made? Uh, what are you responsible for? Uh, man, records with Ludacris. Uh, Wait, what? Record with Chris? Who? What, what records you got? Um, that re- it was a record on that Red Light District album I did on with him, Red him and Light D- District. Him and DJ Quick, uh, called Spur the Moment. Oh, you uh, did Spur the Moment? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a record with Tony Yayo called Pimpin' on his Thoughts of a Predicate Felon album. Okay, Tony Yayo. Uh, a record with Gene Gray called The Wall. Uh, what else, man? A record with Dog Pound on the Cali is Active album called uh, Cushion Pushing. Mm-hmm. I did that. Uh, did a uh, did a record with Chingy and A. Marie called uh, Fly Like Me. Uh, record with Ghostface Killer called I'll Be That for that uh, The Wizard of Poetry album. God, dang I think it, it was called. Uh, Side note, I just want to, for the record, say, I'm whipping myself out. I just want to personally say that this dude has done a record with Ludacris and he's not even mentioning it right now. We're not even going to mention it. It was on what? Was it on Release Therapy? Yeah, he got a whole nother record. With Chris, sure. he's not even mentioned. No, I had nothing on release there. Didn't? Mm-mm, nope. The only record you have with Chris is the one on a... No, it ain't the only record I had. But right. The record, it was a record that was supposed to be on release therapy that didn't make it because they changed the direction of the album. They wanted to, you know, they... It's not use bitches and hoes. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you did the, the Snoop record, right? I did the Snoop. I did the oh. record with Snoop and Nate Dog called Good Relationships. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. And Cat Williams record. on the intro. You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. records with four eyes, you know what I'm saying? Man, homeboy just came at me last night and was like, this is this is so funny. Homeboy just came at me last night and was like, yo, that Ron Artest did the producer sample Thunder the Barbarian. Yo, I heard Thunder the Barbarian be. I was like, yo, first El Timo replayed it. He didn't even sample it, he replayed it. But I don't even know if it was Thunder the Barbarian. It was like National Geographic or Amazing Adventures. It was Actually, like it uh, was, it was, it was Thunder Daughter Barbarian. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I swear. But no, I definitely did replay it though. I ain't sampled it. I replayed it. Dude came up like, "Yo, that shit was so nasty, man. Just that sample alone, just yo, he was wild." Man, man, hey man, forget this. Is, is there anything you can let us hear? You got anything that we can listen to right now? Like, what, let's hear something, anything. Like, just put something on. What you got, see, man? man? What, I, what I got in here? Like this dude. Got a plethora. Of I'm telling stuff. you, man. El Timo is the truth. So, I was, hey, we, we just put my man on the spot, man. He, was, he, don't, he didn't know none of this was going on, man. There's nothing. Like, we just in here 
and living. He is comfortably chilling, relaxing, in producer mode, making a beat when we interrupted right. his session to come in here That's and right. harass him and shove cameras in his face and make him play music for us. I like <laughs> it. So what you got going on, Four Eyes? Is the Awesome Mania? Oh, I mean, you already know I'm over here politicking and networking with El Timo, which is, you know, one of the things that we don't do as good as other people. We're just, you know, pure artists in our creative states. But Word. we're working to uh, generate and uh, monopolize the game right now. It, it's a takeover right now. It's a, it, it's going to be a, pretty much a, a Jeremy Lin. Flores, you know who you sound like, man? What do I sound like? You sound like uh, one of those online, like, little survey thing or, or little presenting thing. They say uh, things that... Things that artists say? Yes. That's what you sound like right now. Really? Things that artists say. It's a movement. Really? <laughs> well, that means all you did was encourage the most ignorant wrath of bestiality to come out of me because I will say the things the artists do not say. I'm over here working on taking over the game. Pinky and the brand style. And the only way I know how to do that is to get some music from El Timo. To be straight up and honest with you, El Timo sound is the sound of the future. It was the sound of the past and the present, but folks be sleeping on greatness. And then when it's, oh, this is the sound of the future, like, man, that was sound that been there. You just, just getting up on it. So I'm here to create a monstrosity. You understand? Awesome Mania is almost at completion, and I have to get an El Timo beat for Awesome Mania to be complete. Yeah, El Timo is the truth, man. Yeah, man I, I, I'm trying, man. I, you know. Hold on, we're going to 